Hey guys, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a very epic version of something that's already pretty epic, which is sticky buns. Today we are making churro sticky buns. What are churro sticky buns, you might be asking? Well, they're basically sticky buns, but with like better stuff on top of it. For me, the classic churro experience is dipping a churro into some perfectly hot chocolate, and that combination is just so perfect. So I'm trying to make it all happen in one bite in a sticky bun. So to get started, we're gonna be making our dough first. So what I have here are three egg yolks, a third of a cup of white sugar, two ounces of butter, four cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of warm milk, one packet of yeast, a tablespoon of cinnamon, one and a quarter teaspoon salt, and then three quarters of a cup of milk. So first things first is I'm gonna combine the yeast and the warm milk. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar to it just to help feed the yeast. So I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes just until the yeast gets nice and foamy. All right, so I'm actually gonna combine the rest of these ingredients together, the dry ingredients that is. In goes the flour. So I'm holding back about one cup of flour and that's just so I can add it at the very end to get the dough fully incorporated. And then I'm gonna add in the egg yolks one at a time once I get kind of a shaggy dough formed. All right, the dough is done. And what we're looking for is that it's a little bit sticky on the outside, not sticky that you have anything on your hands after you touch it, but I guess tacky is probably the better word for it. So now I'm going to put it into a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and put it into kind of a warm part of my kitchen. So anywhere that is probably like 80 degrees. All right, this is gonna disappear for a couple of hours. My dough is very well proved, which means it's risen. So you can see it's really fluffy. There's lots of air bubbles in it. So what I'm gonna do now is actually punch it down. And I'm just gonna let that sit for about 15, 20 minutes while I get started on everything else. The next thing I'm gonna do, make the filling. So I have four tablespoons of melted butter, a half cup of brown sugar. I'm just gonna put that right into it. Next, I'm gonna get the glaze going. So I'm actually making the glaze and putting it on the bottom of the pan because we're gonna turn them upside down when they're all done and they're gonna be insane. I have one stick of butter, quarter cup of maple syrup. So I'm gonna let this go over medium heat just until everything gets incorporated. So I'm just gonna pour this straight onto the bottom like here. So at this point, the dough is ready to roll out. So I'm just gonna lightly coat the whole thing in flour. And then I'm gonna roll this out to about like nine by 13 inches, which is the size of the pan. What is it about just butter and brown sugar that makes everything right? All right, time to roll it up. Looking good. All right, seam side down. So now I'm gonna start cutting into it and I wanna get about 15. Oh, hello, Mochi. <laughs> well, Mochi knows that these rest overnight in the fridge. Friday night, you can do all of this work, and then guess what happens Saturday or Sunday morning? Sticky buns. So the buns are out of the fridge. They look fantastic. So while I finish the other components, I'm gonna put these in the oven at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes, just until they're really puffy and golden brown. So for the streusel topping, I have a cup of flour, four ounces of cold butter, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, then about a half cup of white sugar. I'm just gonna mix all of it together, bake this off at 350 for I'd say about 15 minutes. I just want it to be nice and golden brown. So while everything's baking, I'm going to finish up by making my chocolate sauce. So I have about four ounces of chopped chocolate, a cup of cream, a half teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm gonna let this melt together and then add the butter at the very end. The sticky buns are out of the oven. Finishing touch, a drizzle of chocolate, and then streusel on top. Cannot wait to give this a try. What is not to love about this? It is so good. It's definitely a full undertaking, but it is completely worth it. If you brought this to brunch, people would lose their minds. So definitely make these, plan for a nap, then have some more later in the day. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment below if you try to make these. They are so good. Please like the video if you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>